Am I eligible to be placed on furlough after resigning? I work for a small company in the UK. I had found another job and handed in my four weeks written notice, then coronavirus wreaked havoc with the British economy and my job offer was retracted, it was directly as a result of coronavirus, as stated in an email I received from that company. I was then handed a one-week notice to leave my current employer, which meant I was fired or made redundant after 28 February furlough cut-off date. I have now left my current employer and I'm asking to be put on furlough, but my current employer is saying it's not in my rights as I'd handed in my notice. As far as I'm aware, this isn't correct, but I can't find anything concrete on the rules around furlough in the UK. Am I eligible to furlough payment, despite the fact I had handed in my four weeks written notice? Am I entitled to furlough payment, despite the fact I had handed in my four weeks written notice? In short, no. You aren't entitled to it. The employer is the one who makes a claim for it and it's up to them whether they want to furlough an employee. They need the employee's consent to do so but the employee can't demand that the company furlough them. As at Scotty 3785's answer points out HMRC have recently clarified the scenario for those who have left a job after 28 February 2020. From https colon slash slash twitter dot com slash martinsluis slash status slash one two four four nine three one five three one eight zero seven eight two five nine two zero. Confirmed, if you left a job after the 28th of February, that old employer can rehire you to greater than furlough you, so if needed ask. Which at first glance suggests it might help out here, of course there are some caveats to that hope. It still requires your previous employer to agree, this is in no way automatic. While Martin Lewis talks about people who had voluntarily left still being eligible for rehire as yet the government pages do not, they only refer to those who were made redundant, so that's not 100% clear. Although in your case op this wouldn't be an issue from the sounds of it since they let you go. As with anyone affected by this you have my sympathy, you really do and it's certainly worth having a conversation with your former employer given the recent developments. If it doesn't work out, I know it's not much but you would likely be eligible for the new universal credit thresholds.